everyone, it's Courtney Elise, and today I will be showing you two um, braided headband hairstyles, and they're super easy to do. Like, really easy. Anyone can do it. Um, all you need to know is how to do a regular braid and a Dutch braid or a French braid. You can do either one, but it's super easy, and um, we're going to get in right into the video, and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. So to start this hairstyle, you're going to take a section of hair between your, the front of your face and the front of your ear, and you're going to split it into three sections, and you're just going to do a regular braid going downwards, and make sure that it's fairly loose, that way when you pull it over, it doesn't have any um, bumps in it. Our big, big world, but we thought we would be good. Pushing each other to the limits, we were learning quicker. By eleven, smoking herb and drinking burning liquor. Never be so, we were out to make that steady figure. Once I was eleven years old, daddy told me. So when you're finishing up the braid, you want to make sure that you go as pretty much as far as you can. That way you get most of the hair in it. And then you're just going to take a small clear elastic to tie it off. I always had that dream like my daddy before me. So I started writing songs, I started writing stories. Something about that glory just always seems to bore me. Cause only those I really love will never really know. So now I'm just pulling back the hair that I want pulled back from the braid and then I'm going to pull the braid all the way across over to the other side and doing the same exact thing by pulling the other hair that I want pulled back on the other side behind like basically behind my ear like how you would want a typical headband to fit. And then I'm just going to take a bobby pin and pin it back and I'm going to pin it at a spot where my hair is my other hair is going to fall over top of it then. So then this is your first braided headband look. Soon we'll be 30 years old. Songs have been sold. We traveled around the world and we'll still roam. So for this next braided headband, you're gonna need a rat tail comb, a medium-sized clear elastic and two mini clear elastics. To start the hairstyle off, I'm taking my rat tail comb and taking about an inch and a half in front of my ear and parting that off. And I just pull it over to the side uh, by my other ear, by my other ear. And then I'm going to go to the other side of the braid and making about an inch section. And then I'm just going to pull the hair from the back and take it away from my face. That way it won't be in my way. And then I'm basically setting up to create a Dutch braid. And then I'm going to take three sections, and I'm going to take one section and pull it under the middle section, and then I'm going to take from the other side um, and go under the middle section again, and then I'm going to start adding in hair. I thought that I'd been hurt before But no one's ever left me quite this sore Your words got deeper than a knife Now I need someone to breathe me back so once you get towards the end of the Dutch braid where you can't pick up any more hair added into the Dutch braid, you're just going to go and continue into a regular braid. And once you get to the end of the braid, you're going to tie it off with one of your mini clear elastics. You watch me bleed until I can breathe, shaking, falling onto my knees, and now that I'm without you. So then you're going to do the same thing on the other side that you did on the first side and section off an inch of hair in front of this one inch section and behind the section and you'll just pull that extra hair towards the back of your head and basically what I 
I'm doing now is taking that front section and just taking a bobby pin and pinning it over to the other side. That way it keeps it out of my way when I do the Dutch braid on this side. So basically you're just going to do the same exact Dutch braid that you did on the first side and you just want to remember to be braiding straight down on this side. That way when you pull it back you won't have any bumps or anything. I'm left seeing red on my own Got a feeling that I'm going under But I know that I'll make it out alive If I quit calling you my lover Move on You watch me bleeding till I can breathe Shaking, falling onto my knees And now that I'm without your and again, when you get to the end of the Dutch braid, you're just going to continue into a regular three-strand braid. Aching, begging you to come here, and now that I'm without your kisses, I'll be needing stitches. Needle in a thread, gotta get you out of my head. Needle in a thread, gonna wind up dead. Needle in a thread, gotta get you out of my head. And when you get to the end of this braid, you're just going to take an, your other mini elastic and just tie it off at the end. Now I'm just sectioning my hair off into like a low ponytail. I'm just making it really loose because you're not going to leave it up in your hair. It's just so that you can finish up the hair stuff. So now I'm just placing the braids and the front pieces of my hair where exactly I'd like them to go. And then I'm pulling them back to behind my head and I'm taking my medium sized clear elastic and just tying off those pieces at the back of my head to secure the hairstyle. And there you go, this is the finished hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment at the bottom of this video and like it and subscribe. There'll be more videos coming soon. Thank you.